It's now week four of quarantine. Before lockdown, I typically had sex three to five times a week. Enchanté. Now I'm having sex zero times a week and I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> So what I've been doing, I've been having cyber sex. I don't want it to feel like home, I want it to feel like sex. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna need some privacy now. This is the camera that Channel 4 sent to me to document my day. That's the doorway where hot guys used to come through, which feels like a distant memory right now. My underwear collection drying. Boys and penises. <laughs> My day-to-day -day job, even in lockdown now, um, is looking after an adult sex toy shop. I am a sex educator. Yeah, I just write about sex. Remember when you could meet up with people and snog them and not worry about like spreading a deadly virus? These dating apps. Now, I have just checked my inbox from today on a certain app. 17 people are trying to meet me today. Bear in mind, there is a global pandemic and we've been told to socially distance. This is how irresponsibly people are behaving. So block, <laughs> block, block, block. We can just stare outside at the sun and look forward to when we can bring men back in again. <laughs> what I have been doing to keep things exciting for myself is cyber sex. In this climate, it's a smart way to still connect with people you find sexually attractive and with your bodies without having to risk human interaction at the moment until we know about how to control the spread of this virus. Because I'm sure people watching this have like lovers that you miss and none of us are above doing cyber sex babes as long as you're doing it responsibly and as long as you can trust the person on the other side of the camera. Sex is important to me because it helped me discover my identity. I grew up very isolated and lonely and then when I started to discover my sexuality that was a strong time for me because I was like, wow, I have something that's mine. And it gave me confidence and I had never had that before. So it's time for that cyber sex day I was talking about earlier. And there are things to keep in mind when you are having cam sex. First of all, you're doing it with a trusted partner because there is obviously the ability to take screenshots and to screen record nowadays. Two, I would advise doing it on a different app to what you use to talk to your friends and family dress up, you know, wear something sexy, surprise them. Sensible shoes, <laughs> making mum and dad proud. <laughs> you can like obviously masturbate, you can bring sex toys in, you can just sit there looking sexy in, in lingerie or fetish wear if you want. Something nice and casual. Now I've lit some candles, I have like some lighting on. You know, I sprayed some perfume in the air. It separates the day, it makes it more of an event, something to look forward to and something to enjoy. I'm all flustered. I feel like I'm doing it wrong. Do I look nice? Be honest. Promise. I'm having cyber sex about the same amount I have normal sex, so it's about three to five times a week. Hey, you alright? Good. It's gonna be different to sex, but it is a way to enjoy sex when in lockdown. Giving yourself an orgasm is a treat. And, you know, dedicating some time to pleasuring yourself is a good thing and you shouldn't be embarrassed. And there's so much stigma around masturbation still, but there's nothing wrong with having an orgasm, like bringing yourself to pleasure. Like our bodies are designed for that purpose. Enjoy it. I've had cyber sex for like four hours before and my batteries died on my phone, which is the thing that's ended it. So <laughs> charge your phones. Okay, I'm going to need some privacy now. So it's been fun, but it's time for you to go.